um, it's all right, I'm feeling the same way. Uh, um, so this, uh, this, this first one um, is called I Haven't Got a Clue What to Name This Poem. Um, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, and this is not some analogy for my life up till now, I literally mean at this present moment, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. And some of you may think, is this actually his poem, or is it the result of drink? No, I'm sober, as sober as I can be. And this is the actual poem which I've got in front of me. Uh, I just haven't got a clue what I'm doing. No, oh, that was a weird word. Uh, now, if there, now if these words were in another writer's hands, they would go off to a deep emotional land. Sadly, you've got me, and uh, I just haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Okay, so maybe I'm exaggerating. Uh, the truth is, I am elaborating to try and seem more fascinating, but this is dissipating. However, there are some things that I know I'm doing. One, breathing in air. Two, reading out text. Three, thinking about the last time I had sex. If, if you're interested, it was in uh, March 2012. <laughs> um, using a four, sorry, four, using a mic. Five, standing up straight. Six, wondering why I gave out that date. Just, just to properly establish this, London hadn't hosted the Olympics at that time. <laughs> hadn't hosted it. Seven, wearing clothes. Eight, holding a book. Nine. Spouting out gobbledygook. Ten, wondering if gobbledygook is an actual word. Uh, I've got the penguin dictionary. Uh, it, it, is, it is a word. Uh, so apart from those ten things, I just haven't got a clue one day. That's the end of the film. So um, I, I work in, a, in retail and um, sometimes I uh, overhear weird things that customers say and one which really grasped my attention was, was when someone was speaking to an old friend who had recently had a child and they said, you can't beat a new baby and it just, I've become obsessed with this weird phrase so uh, this poem is called, you can't beat a new baby you can't beat a new baby, a wise man once said not with a stick, nor a stone, not with a truncheon or bread. Yet, you just can't beat a new baby, he definitely actually said. You really can't hit an infant until that baby's dead. I assure you, you really can't beat a new baby. I want this to be clear. I'm, it's seriously frowned upon by people around here. I'm being really, really serious when I say you can't beat a new baby. It's not sometimes, it's not a maybe. I really don't want you to beat up a little baby. I'm not sure how much clearer I can be, so pay serious attention to me. You can't, under any circumstances, and I mean no circumstances, beat a new baby. Disclaimer. Oh, I've lost my page. Oh, That's my best joke. Um, okay, so you could, so you could beat a new baby if said baby was baby Hitler or a zombie. But be aware, the be aware of the moral quandary you'd be creating if you went back in time and killed baby Hitler. Again, that's the end. <laughs>
The best background for this one, for why it's weird, is that I have never taken LSD. And, and the poem is called LSD. Uh, so this is, LSD won't work on me, so take that weed away. I don't think I knew what LSD was. Uh, so, LSD won't work on me, so take that weed away. There's only one drug that appeals to me, and that drug has no name. No idea what it was. <laughs> Adventure Time, and then took my efforts online. Corbin said he won't use Trident. Trident? Trident. The sun yet again hated a migrant. Chris Brown pleaded for an Australian visa. Ralph Lauren stepped down because he's an old geezer. Sainsbury's upgraded its profit forecast. Volkswagen apologised for its shady past. London house prices have risen. The UK's building a Jamaican prison. That's true. They're building a Jamaican prison. Interesting. Uh, so, see, I told you there I was being true. I, I, I wrote this poem today just for you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, that was that one. Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, so uh, this, um, this, this last one uh, is, uh, is the oldest. Yeah. Actually, I was thinking it says the oldest one. It's not. It doesn't predate 2006. It, uh, it, it's the oldest one that uh, I can remember writing, um, and this is called Yarmouth Poem. Um, see, most of my poems are pretty terrible names. Is someone else from Yarmouth? Woo! Yeah, we're escaping for the night! <laughs> uh, right. Have you been to Great Yarmouth? It sits by the sea. I would have the ocean take it, if it was up to me. <laughs> the only thing it's got going and which I'll let you know, is that it breeds all the creatures who go on Jeremy Carl's show. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, come in. Come on, come on, come on. It's, a, it's a big ending. Um, and now I'm going to be honest, I've suddenly run out of time, and I can't finish this poem or think of another thing to say. <laughs> It took two minutes to write. I've been Daryl Smith, and I bid you all good night.